Hello and welcome back ladies and gentlemen to A Patient Gamer Plays Divinity Original Sin 2. I'm your host Jerk Defiler. Thank you for joining me. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, spread me around a little bit. And we finally made it into Lord Kim's vault last video. This one we will be continuing onward after we had a clash with the mighty statues of Lucian which are, well, they were right here. I don't know where they went. Probably still laying over there somewhere. Just can't see it from this distance. And we also finally got the full Devourer set, which is fun. Devourer's Maw. That's what we got. Immunity to Terrified. Always nice. Personally, I'm not too big a fan of this set. Um, there's generally better stuff, but once, actually once you do the quest line for it and unlock its full potential, which you get better stats and stuff on it, and I think it bumps it up to level 20, uh, it's much stronger. But we're not going to be using it because we are summoners using the vulture set. The vulture set is awesome. But right now, we're just going to finish up Lord Kim's vault. Kim's vault, rather. And then um, make our way into his hidden area. Which will proceed to further the one of the main quest lines. So at this point, we are just going to steal everything. Ancient human skull. Eh, why not? What's this? I found something. Mm. Great game. Ah, beautiful music. The joyous experience. We also have to make sure we get the required items for uh, the, what the yeah, cat lady, I think her name is. Not cat lady. Lady that wants to steal the stiff. Uh, Vault the Lord Kim, is that what it is? I think I got I already got one. Okay, I found the scroll. Uh, which, so I need the Cup of Kings, Scroll of Eternity, and Portrait of the Divine. Yeah, waiting for Cat, for noble, notable appraiser. Okay. So yeah, I just uh, need the Cup of Kings and the Portrait of the Divine, which we'll get eventually because it's going to be... Yeah, we're going to scour this whole place. We're going to go over everything. In the meantime... Check every little nook and cranny for goodies. I mean, I don't know why I'm taking these. I think I'm just sell them, I guess. And they don't weigh a lot, so no biggie. What's this? Old Paladin Shield. 68 gold. That's pocket change, man. Come on. But um, now that we defeated the statues, everything in here is going to be smooth sailing. And we just have to scour... Or any necessary items. There's the deceased. Lucian the Warbringer, Lucian the Harbinger, and Lucian the Faithbringer. I didn't even realize they actually had different names. <laughs> I wonder if they have different abilities too. Probably. One of them was using Fortified. The other one was using... Um, the other one using... Oh yeah, like Air, Arrow Thurge abilities. Like Favorable Wind and stuff like that. Now uh, yeah, they're actually... Each one's probably different. Who would have thunk? All right. Scouring everything. Nothing too fancy there. You never know what's in these bookshelves. See dust? Pretty sure I probably have like every spell book already. Uh, yeah, no, that's not gonna be anything. But maybe there'll be some scrolls in here. And I am a greedy, greedy man. So I will take anything. Except for the repl replica of a wolf statue. Because that weighs 150 pounds. I know that uh, I'll take that. That's worth a pretty penny. Money, money, money. Once we get to level 20, I think we're going to up, up uh, upgrade everything again with the Sorcerer Sundries. If we can afford it. Doing pretty good on the money front. 118,000. Not too shabby. Oh, this is where we are ultimately going to be going, but we'll get there. Right now, we're just going to find the rest of the items for Cat. Without any other goodies we may be able to find in here. Hey, like a giant cross room. Not bad. And armor of frost scroll, I'll take it. I do love me some armor of frost scrolls. <clears throat> Archery. 
Okay, you don't need that. Oh, this is actually pretty good, worth having. Metal shield, I'll take that. I've never actually eaten an onion, that's odd. The Crafter's Grimoire. This veritable tome of knowledge teaches you a plethora of handy of entry dress. Yeah, I already read it. We've been around. If you've been following this series, you know that, as this is video... What is this, 80? I think, maybe? I don't know. Perfect soundtrack for this environment. Sneaky. Kind of mysterious. I'll just take all these. Well, not all of them. The ones that are over 70 gold. Because they don't weigh much. And, you know, just get a little bit of cash out of it. No problem. Yeah, these are the most expensive glasses I've ever seen in my life. Okay. Um, pillows. I can make stuff out of, but I don't really want Paper glass. Old crossbow, 160 gold in the air. Too heavy. Alright, we're back where we started. There we go. Use can make grenades. That I'll never use because I always forget. There's the Cup of Kings. Boop. Take that. Block picks don't use. And... Any goodies in here? As you can see, there is plenty to scour through here. And if you have Lucky Charm, which I don't, if you go, if you ever do this playthrough and you're doing four character run, um, always recommend to get one that has Lucky Charm because you will get lots of money from all this stuff you'll find with that. Just a random chance to get loot when you're looking through barrels and anything. The barrel could be empty. Well, not empty, but have like a standard item in it, gold, like anything, and it'll just find something else for you. Occasionally. But it procs a lot once you start getting it going. Okay, um, pretty much checked. Oh, I didn't check this side. What do you guys got for me? Anything? Any goodies? Snacky cakes? Son against father. Already familiar with that. There we go. Cane scroll. Cane touch scroll. See, this is why we look through all things you never know what you're gonna find that is the pleasures of playing a complex rpg okay so i got those now i need the painting of lucian the divine I forget where it is it might be inside deeper into the vault not sure yep Some chairs um or is it, is it back here? Painting of Lucian the Divine. Oh, pff, there it is. Duh. I picked it up. <laughs> I just threw it over there. I didn't even think. Okay. Portrait of the Divine. There he is. Little Lucian. Or big Lucian, I should say. And he's holding a demon baby. Very uh, appropriate. Oh, dear. How much does that weigh? only weighs 15 and I'm already oh really guys really okay I need to get rid of some stuff in that case um I mean best way to do this I'm just gonna go to the Lady Vengeance in the Hall of Echoes and just sell some stuff I got so much crap God woke how can I help I have no idea man you can buy dish and dish and dish, and then and this too, and this. I don't even weigh that much. What what do I have? I, I mean, I guess it's just the Devourer set. Really taking up most of my space here. Keeping those. Um, yeah, we're not going to use any of this stuff. Get rid of all the skulls, teeth, bone dust. Not going to use any of this. We don't craft, really, with this playthrough. Um, Shadow of Essence. I mean, I think I might keep those just for reasons. I don't know why. And I still hire. Um, yeah. That's, I don't, I don't have a lot of stuff. Go with honor. I mean, that can't all just be the Devourer set, can it? Probably. 
screen. 2.5, 3.5, 2, 5. Hmm. I don't think I can sell that. Can't sell that either. I'm going to put those in my chest. That's only five. Yeah, I don't know what is weighing so heavily. I have a lot of little stuff, but even then, it's, you know, it's not really a lot of stuff. I mean, well, I guess I, these grenades. Oh, yeah. A lot of these grenades. Look at that. Twelve. Do I even have these on here? Nail bomb grenade. I should probably get rid of some of these. I got 12 oil flasks. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. 18. 18. Okay. Um, for sure. Let's get rid of some of these. Split item. We'll do uh, that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm never going to use these. I know I'm not going to use these. But that's what we do. I mean, these are, are firestorm grenades are generally useful, but they're not even for me because I just have all these fire abilities. So I don't do I really need it. Kind of not really. So we'll sell all these. Um... Smoke grenade can come in handy, especially as we're getting into the end game here. First poison flask is always nice for someone like me who is immune to poison. Although it's cursed, so I think that still damages me a pretty decent amount. Uh, oil flask, just do 10 because I can make oil myself. Chemical warfare grenade. Too bad either. I mean, these are these are good grenades. I just never get around to use them. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna split these just to do put these all in half. I'll just keep two of everything. Even though I'll probably uh, the poison flask. I'll just keep three. Same with the curse poison. Everything else, let's just get rid of. We're not gonna need it. Um, holy hand grenade. Actually, I'll keep that if I get decaying touch on somebody. That would be worth having. Alright, what else do I got in here that I don't need? Tools. Weapons. All this stuff. I'm not going to sift through that. <laughs> Too lazy. Sorry. Um, purses and wares. Food and drink. Fumes. Devourer set. These don't weigh anything. 0 0.01. So, I'll just keep that the way it is. Um, split this. Probably not going to use this. I'll eh, keep some of them. Keep four. Why not? Um gotta turn these into bigger ones giant healing potions don't need medium healing potions don't need I don't really need any of these I'll just keep I only keep these um because sometimes you'll come up against an NPC that has like that's uh, damaged or wounded or what whatnot and they might need a potion and then you can open up more dialogue options and whatnot with that so that's the only reason I keep healing potions around as an undead character otherwise you don't need them uh, I could probably just get rid of these two I don't think I'm ever going to use these I kind of built everything I already want to build and we're not doing too much experimenting this round now for the scrolls these don't weigh barely anything so I'm going to keep all of these I just got to use these more most of the time I just in a position where I don't really need to but it's worth keeping around. I'll probably get rid of all the food, too. Because, again, I just never use it. So, let's get this Godwin, also. How can I help? And then... Uh, where did they go? Sell you. Sell you. Uh, sell 
you, sell you, sell you, sell you, sell you. Keep all those. Blessed ones are pretty nice to have. Source orb. I, I gotta turn that into something. Sell you. Alright, sell you, sell you, sell you, sell you. Uh, I gotta turn these into stronger potions. And let's sell all of you. I've been keeping this stuff around for ages. I don't need any of it. Except for that. Yeah, definitely want to keep that. Don't really need it. Like, why Why do I have this? I think I had this because I wanted to make potions out of it. This one I can keep. Never know when you need some invisibility. Uh, intelligence. Eh. I'm probably never going to use it, let's be honest. Stardust herb and superior stardust herb. I don't know what the difference is. I think... The superior just lasts longer per turn. Um, I can't remember. Unusually beautiful. Yeah, yeah, I'll keep that. I mean, will I use these traps? Again, probably not. But if I can get in the habit of doing it. go with. That's what we want to try to go for. But okay, there's all the traps. I have... One, two, three, four different types. One, two, three. Which one am I missing? I'm missing smoke trap. Or this one. Gas trap. Um, yeah, because I don't think it's on another bar. For the looks of it. Okay. Let's auto sort that. Alright, there we go. Freed up a lot of space. Apparently it was those potions. All right, now the rest I can go and put in my chest down here. George! Get rid of anything that we don't really want on our person, which would be you. Actually, I don't know what that is. Where is it? Um, you, you, you. Um, fuel your seeds. I don't know what you do with that. Oh, I forgot to sell the skill books. I could probably sell some of those potions to you. Jar of mine maggots. Um, all these books. Kind of a pain, but again, I don't want to be too lazy to sift through that right now. Berry pie. That didn't show up, did it? The trading thing. Where's that archer guy? Like to take a look at what I by all means. Uh, hey. Oh well. Never mind. I don't. I don't have a good reputation with him. Tarkin. You must truly savor my company, Godwoken. Indeed. Something you wanted? Uh, let's see. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. These Godwoken are going to be the death of me. Mind maggot grenade recipe. I should, I should read that to see what I actually have to do. Oh, yeah. See, I can't sell the berry pie. Okay. Well, now we know. All right. Where are you? Mine maggot. Uh, just the words feel blah, blah, blah. Oh, it doesn't say in there. Grenades. Mine maggots. Oh, I can make two. Let's do that. Mind Maggot Grenade will try to charm all in eight meter radius. Really good. Really fun to play with. As you saw when I charmed that one uh, monster in the other, one of my previous videos. Okay, I think we're good for now. We got plenty of space and we're gonna go back into the vault. First, I guess I can turn this into cat. I'm already gonna be here. Hello cat, I got your goodies. You say that you met Lord Kim. He strikes you more of an old warhorse than an antiquarian about the curio the trio of curios. Did you find them? Say that you found some acquired something she'll most certainly be interested in. Then the vault is real. I can't believe it. What did you find? Do show me, please. Let's have a long awaited look. <laughs> Let's have a long awaited look. <laughs> I like that voice actor. Uh, five to strength, one to retribution, two to polymorph. Equalize. And that's a really good ring for a strength build. 
strength polymorph um, like warrior build retribution like everything there is good for a polymorph warrior not too shabby but I don't need it so just give me the minis and so I finally have all three seven bless you for your troubles although no greater blessing really than lots and lots of precious things indeed all right what do you got for me um uh, wand poison not anything that great actually um now there's staff we'll just take the body armor for the most all right so let's get back into lord kim little vault over here and that should be everything that we needed in there in that particular area uh, we should be able to find the sworn breaker a fully completed sworn breaker in there that we're gonna need and we might have to do an exploit so i can give it to both windigo and to um the lady on the boat did i forget her name which because i would like to give them both just for the story's sake but i for some reason um thanks to zeus in the comments i forgot to uh craft this and uh I think I left the act that had this other... I think it was act two. I can't remember. Had the the blade for this one breaker. And I just forgot to get it. So I, I can't actually create the entire thing, I don't think. Because, <laughs> again, I'm a moron. It's what I do. So I might have to do a little bit of a exploit to get it. All right, let's talk to the Dwarven Thief. The ghost looks around the room with an incredulous shake of his head and fixates on the set of paintings before him. What a fool I've been. Thieving was the best chance I had of keeping afloat in this wretched city. Never thought that would mean trying to impress a band of urchins, let alone getting crushed by a damn golem. Big Tomorrow said they'd let me in their grubby little guild if I helped them nab that painting of Kem's, the second passion of Lucian. Well, we made it in all right. And while Kem's constructs tore me to shreds, they all ran off with a painting. Wow, what a bunch of jerks. Ask about this big tomorrow. Where can you find her? Well, we already found her, but let's ask you anyways. If you don't know her, it's best to keep it that way. That thieves' guild of hers is a cutthroat bunch of young'uns. <laughs> That's funny, because they're all like three years old. Okay, let's take our leave. And now we have the religious painting. The spirit of a painting hovers where the painting itself once stood. The second passion of Lucian, we presume. Examine the swirling ethereal image. Complete the tri the triptych. Is that what the how, is that how you say that? I've never seen that word before outside of this. And I don't remember. Complete the triptych. Return the real second passion of Lucian to its rightful place. Well, we'll examine it's the swirl. It's difficult to see the image as it must appear in the real world. This perhaps is the moment where Lucian killed Damien and sacrificed himself for the world. These are actually really cool paintings. Pretty neat. All right. The spirit of a painting. Complete the trip. Chip, 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 chip. I want to. I want to get a closer look at these. Beady. Very uh, inspired. Very like hyper religious kind of theme here. A dark one, a vengeful one, and a you know beneficiary. What is it? Benevolent? That's the word I'm looking for. Benevolent one. Malicious. Uh, anger. Revengeful. And benevolent. Yeah, that's the words. Pretty neat. Well, that's what we have to do to unlock this space. I forgot to... Wow, I forgot to look in all these. How can I be so stupid? Uh, what is this worth? Dusty old axe. 140. Okay. All right. Well, we are. Spotted something. Yeah, it's worth a decent amount. Gold pile. Can't break into the order. Oh, I have a key. I forgot. Take you. Don't need that. Um, look at this. Chest armor five to intelligence, two to constitution, two to wits, two to summoning. 286 HP. Reflect 20% of melee damage as earth damage. Really good. Not bad at all for a summoner. Um, but, you know, we're using Vulture's Mantle. And the Vulture set, which we are not going to be getting rid of. Because it's just too good. 
even though it's not the best for my build. Um, still, that's a really cool suit of armor there. Or robe, I guess it would be. Whatever it is. I don't know, what is it? And it's an intelligence item, so I'll just say robe. Uh, True Brew, Earth Tongue. Already read that, I'm sure. I want to tag it. <laughs> Pick it up. Just trying to read it, but it didn't work. Locked. Okay. I forgot we have to use our wits and our brilliance to unlock that door. Which is by clicking this book right here. <laughs> Tomb of the God King. Yeah, but we got some other goodies in here. Don't want that. Tuft of Cat Hair. That's a uh, link to Lord Arhu, who has the ability to turn into a cat that we discovered earlier. But now we are deep within the vault of Lord Kim. And as you can see, it's very mysterious, very cool, very creepy. <laughs> Now, in order to activate this, we have to have a, a dagger of pain painting. shoots through your head, halting your advance instantly. You hear a voice, soft and calm, yet laced with disappointment. Such a long journey you have undertaken in the service of thieving charlatans, in pursuit of that which you will never attain. A long, sad sigh reaches you from the depths of the void itself. I saw your abysmal treatment of my servant, Isbail. Please test my patience no further. This is your last chance. Abandon this folly. Leave and never return. Well, we finally know who the God King kind of is and speaking to him. Directly demand to know who you're speaking to. I am the past. I will be the future. I am the God King. You are but a misguided servant. Heed my words and leave. I do not wish you harm unless you force my hand. I wonder why the king has a shrine in such a place. Because my followers are many. My followers are everywhere. Your endeavors are pointless. The voice fades away, and with it, the pain. Very powerful being that we're going up against, ladies and gentlemen. And, um, as you can see, Lord Kim is for sure now in cahoots, if you had any doubts before, which you didn't, because you guys are smart. Only the God King knows the weight of responsibility. Alright, so we have to get the painting. I don't think I picked it up. Um. And it says the weight of responsibility. So the painting should be linked to the, war, the title or the, the puzzle, as you can see here. Responsibility is the name of this painting. And it only weighs 20 pounds, so not too shabby. And what we have to do here is because... Only the God King knows the weight of responsibility. We are going to put that right here. Beep. And that's how you uh, open the secret hatch. Take your snakes. Ghosts, and they're tearing his soul apart. Oh. Alright, so this is going to be a big fight. And we have, let's see, we're hitting, approaching the 30 minute mark, so I think we can go ahead and do it. Might be a little bit of a longer video here. But we have finally found our good friend, Lord Ahu, or Arhu. So that's who is leaving the tufts of cat hair up there because he's a shapeshifter in a way and can turn into cat. And he's being, you know, messed around with by the black ring defilers, Cain Weaver, and fear mated. So our task is to free him or kill him, depending on what we want to do. The spirit ignores you, focused as it is on tearing the source from its captive. It stinks of dark magic. Delve into its mirage. There's nothing in the spirit but pain, its own and that of its captive. He resists the agony, but it's only a matter of time before the spirits tear his source away. The pain begins to hurt you too. Alright, back away. 
The dark stench assails you. The spirit concentrates on tearing the source from its captive. Yeah, back away from him. The dark stench assails you. The spirit concentrates. Okay, so we are going to have to consume their source. To vampirism in order to free him, I'm sure. The man before you writhes in pain, oblivious to you. Otherworldly shackles are coiled all around him. Try to get his attention. The man raises his head with an anguished groan. Ask who he is, demand to know why this is being done to him, note his desperate condition, and offer to help him. Um Yeah, that's number three. There is nothing you can do. Save yourself. Let's ask who he is. I am I am Ahu. This is Arhu? Say that you've been looking for him. Say that there must be some way to free him. Demand to know who's doing this to him. I mean, I can see who's doing it to him. Um, so, number two. Say there must be a way to set him free. No. I am bound by powerful magic. Try to free me and... Uh, and it will likely kill me. He coughs up a gout of blood. Ew. Gross. Declare that you're going to find a way to save a remark that you would have thought the, that renowned Lord Arhu would be strong enough to escape any situation. Uh, number one. Before he can dissuade you any further, his eyes roll back and he loses consciousness. Dude's having a bad time. Okay, so we'll just consume some the source here. Stench as the spirit seizes the pain you inflict upon it and turns it back on you. The pain you share nears unbearable levels and the spirit begins to smile. This is the pinnacle of its existence. I'm the Defiler, not you, Spirit of Blackwing Defiler. And then it exists no more. The pain it gave you ebbs away. Uh, uh, stop! I told you to leave! You're going to kill me! Apologize, say that you have to try and save him. Tell him that this is for his own good. And yeah, number three. There's, uh, there's nothing you can do. Watch me. He shudders as fresh waves of pain course through him. Leave, or you still have a chance. And don't touch the... He passes out mid-sentence from the pain. Who's next? Um, I think I want to end on this side, so... Let's talk to her next. Stench. The spirit seizes the pain you inf... And then it exists. The same text as before, so I'll just skip through that. Oh, oh boy. Yeah. Much. His face goes slack as the pain renders him senseless. Ask him if he can hear you. Tell him not to worry. You're going to save him. The man doesn't respond. He's out cold. Oh, good. At least he can't feel the pain anymore. All right. Let's give a quick save here. <coughs> Excuse me. I think we're actually... You know, uh, use this. See if it hurts him. Nope. It doesn't. I'm going to let this come back because there will be a fight after this and he will take he'll be like pretty low health so I, I might have to heal him again hopefully I can save him come on restoration and give it a quick save again and talk to this pain weaver over here the dark stench the spirit seizes the pain you inflict upon it and then it exists all right Yeah, you can take it. I, I can't fight. I'm too weak. Alrighty. Please. All right, so we got Fear Maiden up here, Pain Weaver up there, Defiler. So the issue here is they. I think they might try to focus Lord Ahu. Which I don't want because I, I want him to live. So my goal is to get these guys together. And luckily I think I have enough scrolls of teleportation. Yeah, so I can do that. So we're going to get one of these over here. And yeah, honestly, I think I want to probably get one of these girls. Oh, that's a guy over there. One of these two down here, too. I can get him. I don't want to do that. 
Yeah, I think I do. But first, let's see what they're weak to or if they have any weaknesses. So he has air and water. Okay, so that doesn't look like they're very good against fire. However, we will be getting visited by someone shortly during this fight. And uh, where is my... Do, 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 do. Probably, uh, I'm trying to find my, um, what was it? Oh, wait, I'm out of, no, I, I used too many source points, or not source points, but skill points, so I can't use a worm trimmer on them. That's a problem, but not that big of a deal. Just trying to see how I can do I could slow them down, but he'll just they'll just teleport. I might have to restart this because I think I messed this up. I forgot to use my tea leaves. What are you doing? My dear Lord Arthur, uh -oh. you should have told me you were expecting visitors. Run, you fools! Ask what the hell's going on here. Tell Kim to let Argo. You need him, and you need him alive. Everything depends on it. Um, yeah, sure. That I'm afraid is a matter of perspective. From where I stand, all of you must die. What did I do? Everything depends on it. Why, Kim? Why betray everything for which you once stood? I mean, we know. Betray? I didn't betray the order. I liberated it. He has a lot of armor, so I'm probably going to have to go the magical route here. I hope he's not immune to fire, because... Actually, you know, I, I think I need to restart this. Lucian's pawns, I stood for weakness. Frailty. And then... Then the God King showed me the world as it could be. He made me a promise. He promised me a path unburdened by Lucian's pathetic need to defend defenseless he promised me a world dominated by the worthiest bloodlines across the ages he promised me a lasting seat at his glorious table in return for my oath for the king chooses only the strongest this the guy loyal, is beefy the most deserving and now god woken i uphold the final act of my oath your execution you can forget about finding Lucian. Believe me, no good comes from our so-called divine. Tell him to put up or shut up. Arhu's coming with you. Ask Arhu if he could fight. Insist he stand down. You kill, kill Isbiel. You uh, will not hesitate to kill him too. Yeah. You know, intimidate him. That poison peddler. A swamp frog is a more potent warrior. Let me show you the power of the king's true chosen. I guess he kind of has a point. His bill was kind of a pushover. Oh dear. I'm sorry, it was just a joke. No, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Owie. Yeah, I'm gonna have to restart this because I, I messed up my, um, my whole thing. Because <laughs> I meant to, I used, I, I forgot to use my tea leaves. I'm gonna die here anyways. No! Ooh, why you guys, why? Ooh. Uh, yeah, that was totally my fault. Forgot to do the proper setup for it. I used too many action points and um, I couldn't lock the, down the defilers, which you gotta do because otherwise they just do that. They wreck ya. I can ha take the hits from Lord Kim, but the Defilers will just crit you, crit you, crit you. Um, so lesson learned. Now, I want to get more action points. And kind of, I'm thinking maybe I should start over here. Or, mm, tough one. Like, 
I'm tr I want to line of sight the two that are going to be spawning up top. And I think this will line of sight them. They'll still attack Arhu. But that's not that big of a problem. I think, like, yeah, I think he should be okay. So let's try this. Um, does vampirism work on here? I forget. I don't think that kills them, though. Zoom corpse. Again, a source point or steal a source point from. Yeah, I don't think that does anything to those guys. So I, I do have to talk to, like, be in talking range with them. If I stand on this side. All right, we'll see. For now, I'm going to use. Maybe if I give myself haste at the start, too. Now nah, we'll, we'll hold on to that. We're going to do... I'm going to need double protection as well. We're going to do... Green tea leaves. Yeah. We have to also... Get... I'm going to go fire because I know none of the, the black ring guys are immune to fire. Um, Lord Kim, I can't remember if he's immune to fire or not. That's the problem. I mean, acid would be good, but I think I'm just going to be doing a lot of fire here. Like, Epidemic of Fire. I'm not going to be able to cast that. So, we're just going to stick with Necro Infusion. And perhaps... Dust Blast. Or Dome of Protection if we need it. Uh-huh. Can also suck a Source Point out of somebody. Okay. So, we're going to drink the leaves. The dark stench assails hey. you. The spirit concentrates on the end so fast from its captive. The spirit seizes and then it exists. Why is it going? No. I, I can't fight. I'm too weak. Okay, that's fine, dude. Relax, you earned it. Alright, so we gotta get these guys over here. And I can cast one more. Or I can back off. Um. How do I want to do this? Do I want to try to get another one of them down? Or is it, I don't think I, I can. That's odd. It costs two, but I should have more AP. It's very odd. Why did it, I don't know why that ended so fast. AP cost minus one. Oh, that was the okay. Well, then if that if that's minus one, okay, okay, there it is. Oh, okay, so it's showing it actually on the AP bar and not on the skill itself. Okay stupid all right in that case i'm gonna load again so i want to i want to test this out again gabby already approaching the 45 minute mark and we haven't even really gotten to the fight yet so it's gonna be a long vid longer video but i want to do this right so We'll tinker around with it, and this is the pleasure of having strategies and stuff in video games. So, well, be sure to get my fire infusion, dude. Um, I'm gonna put Dust Blast over here. Alright, give it a quick save. So, AP cost. Do I really need the maximum AP though? Okay, that's the why. So you can only have one tea leaf at a time. The okay. spirit concentrates on tearing the source from its captive. That explains it. The spirit seizes the pain and then it exists. Oh, it still goes down to one. That sucks. Okay, so that only costs two. 
And that only costs one now. Got it. Now, does it work with scrolls? It does, in fact, work with scrolls. Okay, so I should be able to get everybody over here with, like, no problem. All right. So let's try this out. You, I might even be able to get her down here. Uh, you. Maybe I should save this for Lord Kim. I might need to teleport him away if I can. I don't know if he's immune to teleport or not. She shouldn't be able to hit me. Alright. And then I'm going to... Let's see. Okay. That guy is out of physical armor. These guys still have a lot, though, so. Maybe I do corrosive touch. Nah, I'm not close enough. Um, I could do a smoke bomb. Dro drop a smoke bomb on them so they can't actually attack me. That might be good. And then I'll just throw my incarnate in there. Or I could put one on her, too. Yeah, I'll do this so they can't attack Lord Arhu. It should be, like, at least hopefully the theory is they shouldn't be able to see through that. Um, but I don't know. These days, who knows? And we're going to put haste on myself. And my here dear comes Kim. We already said this, so we'll just skip through it. Now. That... All right, good. He's not going to be within range of Lord Arthur, so I can take a little bit of a beating. There we go. Beautiful. So they can't attack. She's going to have to move because she, I line aside her, which is beautiful. And now we bring out the big guns. Okay, so he, he does have some fire resistance, unfortunately, but he's not immune, so that's okay. This is the worst part about fighting Lord Kim is this deflect. So every projectile you shoot at him shoots back at you. Um, but it's it's near this character as well. So I don't even think it's a targeted projectile. I'm, I'm not sure. Like if I throw a fireball at, around his area, I'm not sure if that reflects. But if I shoot him like with a wand or something, then that will. Fire whip I don't think counts as, as a projectile, but we'll see. Okay, first things first, I'm gonna put this on me. I need to take these guys down really quick because they, they do a lot of damage. Lord Kim, as long as he focuses me, then it should be okay. So let's get things started. We're going to do our incarnate here. Why did it put it all the way back? Yeah, whatever. Um, beef him up. And I don't know if I'll, I think I'm going to use the Dome of Protection here because Lord Kim is pretty nasty. Uh, I don't know. You know. Maybe I'll just do Uncanny Evasion on myself. Hopefully he'll focus me and not go after Lord Arhu. That's what I'm really worried about. And I gotta heal Lord Arhu, but at the same time... I think I want to put Shackles of Pain on this guy. So, if Lord, Har if, uh, Lord Kim does attack me, then yeah, we'll know. All right. Let's do this. Epidemic. Why did that hit me? I don't know why that targeted me. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, that's the first I've seen it do that. Did I miss something? Is it because of this guy? Oh, it might be deflect. Okay, so I guess I guess the epidemic of fire counts as a projectile, so that's probably why I deflected back at me. 
And that's just interesting, you know, not not a big problem. Um all right. Well, I'm gonna separate or go up next to this guy so I can proc any opportunity. <laughs> yeah, that's good. They're focusing on the incarnate. Rupture tendons. Eh, it's a little bit of a pain. It's kind of annoying that this guy can teleport when he's entangled. Okay, well, I guess my incarnate's dead. That's a bit annoying. Oh, I gotta save Lord Ahu. And I'm stunned. Okay, this is going horribly. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, that's so annoying that they can move while entangled. Alright, so or yeah, we we're not gonna deal with that. We're gonna have to do a different route. Cause that's not going to fly. I'm not gonna let Lord Ahu die. Those defilers, man, they're just too strong. Um, you know, the fact that they can move around while entangled is very frustrating. All right, so what route I could take this time? Let's see. First things first, I need to put this in its proper place. Might have to in the video and then just pick this up next one because it's getting kind of going kind of long um you know i think i'm probably going to do that because this, this might be a long fight it's a fun fight don't get me wrong but it's probably going to take a little while so i might have to start this in, or finish this in the next video because right now we're past we're approaching 52 minutes so it's getting a bit long so i think we're going to end it here and finish it in the next round. So I'll see you guys next time. And we'll get it. We'll get it done you guys. We'll do it. I believe in myself. And I believe in you. So take it easy. This has been Jarek Defiler. Be sure to like, share, subscribe. And you guys have a good morning, afternoon, evening, or night. Depending on where you are. And we'll save Lord Arhu. If it means the death of him. You know. It makes sense. Don't question it. I'll see you guys next time. Yeah. <laughs>